there, friggin' uh, woo, friggin' phone takes so long to fucking turn on, man. Wait a minute, I think I got it. Ah, shit, whatever. But uh, yeah, it's funny. I seen the freight train coming, and I'm like racing with it. I thought it was actually a longer, uh, longer train, man. More car. There was a pretty lot of cars on it, but so I fucking kind of raced it over this fucking hill that you know road I was on. Doom as the gate was coming down. Right, I darted around the one gate, darted around the others, but uh, I was gonna say like, hey, there goes the freight train. I used to hop that freight train every fucking day, man. When I worked about 20 miles from here, I, you know, I had this job where I was stacking um buckets all day, five gallon buckets, man, on um on pallets all day, and then I would either walk home if I didn't get the train, my ass was walking, so. I would always try to get that freight train either before it left or when it was just taking off. Jump on, and then sometimes I'd jump off, man, the fuck would be going fast. And, and I would hit the railroad rocks, get all cut up and shit, and, uh, yeah, there were some crazy days back then, man. But I used to love hopping at freight trains. If I didn't have my bike tonight, I was actually going to hop the fucker tonight, man. There was times where I would take it into Camden because it'd be going so fast. And, uh... Yeah, you know, I'd be like, there'd be times it'd be going like 30-something miles an hour, man, maybe 40, and I'd be like, well, fuck it, I ain't jumping off now, man. But I wasn't saying, man, I used to fucking, um, I'd be on top of the, on, on top of the carts, man, and I'd be running from cart to cart, even on them thinner ones, man, like the tanks, you know, and jumping from cart to cart as the train be doing like 30 miles an hour. I'd be like, 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 you know, like I'm Spider-Man, you know, fucking ninja, you know, it's <laughs> it out of my fucking mind. Then I would catch I would catch a train in the can and and fucking then go score drugs, you know. But most of the time I would catch it catch it right to this town, Westville, or in the Gloucester, jump off, go to my bars. There's one bar right up there, the tower. I used to drink in, used to drink there with my dad, and one right, you know, beyond that that they closed down at Bar Murphy's. And I don't want to start getting into all my war stories, man, and getting all crazy, cause yeah, but yeah, man. Fuck, and just last week, man, just celebrated seven years clean and sober. The uh, last thing I need to be doing is fucking picking up a drink or a drug, man, which I've been damn fucking close, man. But there's Philly over there. Yeah. smell Adelphia. <laughs> yeah. And even right across from the, right across the river from there, directly, you know, I used to live, I used to live out there, too, in Paulsboro, and, uh, nothing but fucking oil refineries and shit like that, and, you know, one point I was living across the street from uh, a mobile refinery, man. Me, my dad, and my cousin Paul. And uh, I remember like the first month I was living there, even though I grew up here right over the bridge from Philly. But man, there were so many refineries like right on top of each other in that fucking town. And uh, I remember like the first month I'd have headaches every fucking night. And then the headaches went away, you know. I guess that's probably a bad thing, you know. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's kind of like when you're drinking and drugging, man. It fucking takes more and more. But, uh, which I will admit, man, eventually got to the point with the alcohol where I was fuck, I was, I'd be going into blackouts every time I drank, vinyl blackouts too, and after just a couple beers or a few drinks, man, I, I guess I was close to wet brain, man. Yep, I used to do more drugs, more fucking cocaine and alcohol in a day than fuck, enough to kill uh, 10, 300 pound men, believe me. But uh, I was as crazy as they come, man. That's how I know there's a God, man. But, alright, on that note, I'm gonna get back on my friggin' bicycle. 44 years old, man. I still walk and ride a fucking bike everywhere, and guess what? I love it! Yeah! Fuck that shit, man. Don't ever let anybody tell you you're getting old, you're getting old. I don't like that negative kind of shit talk, man. Fuck you, maybe you're getting old, but guess what? Not this man. Not yet. Especially if God, if, if, especially if God's on my side. I think God says to me, Rick, just push yourself through your injuries. Push yourself no matter what. You keep pushing yourself, the whole, you know, you can do anything. Believe me. All right. Except maybe fly, you know. I'm not going to jump off this bridge and try to fly. Yep. There's the dust. It runs right into the Delaware River down there. I just can't see it. It's dark, so. All right, guys. I'm going to roll, man. Enough of my fucking ranting, man. Man, I'm hyper. Shit. Too much coffee. All right. Peace out, everybody. Stay metal.